Ladies and gentlemen, we look back at Star Trek, Planet of the Apes, uh, the great series he was in, and he added so much to every episodic or movie he was part of that all I can say, pound for pound, one of the most underrated actors of all time. A linguist, a voice actor, uh, can play different characters, known as a Romulan and a, uh, and a Vulcan, the father of Spock, the great, the classical, the talented Mark Leonard. Now, Mark... Well, like many people who worked in the 1960s, was a veteran of the Second World War. Now, born Leonard Rosenson in uh, October 15th, 1924, soon becoming 100 in Chicago. Again, his most famous role was as Sarek, father of Spock, in Star Trek. In both the original, the animated series, and Star Trek The Next Generation, he also played Sarek in three films. He also played a Klingon in Star Trek The Most in Picture in the opening, uh, what they call, uh, destruction scene, and a Romulan in an episode of Star Trek, the episode, original series, A Balance of Terror, which is also a review of this, is on this podcast channel. Uh, chilling, chilling uh, Romulan leader. Now, born in Chicago, he was son of a Russian-Jewish immigrant. Abraham and his wife, Bessie, was, was raised in a small town of South Haven, Michigan, on Lake Michigan, where his family owned a tourist resort. He joined the Army in 43 and trained to be a paratrooper during World War II, but did not see combat and was discharged in 46 as a technical sergeant. He got his start on stage while in the Army. After earning a master's degree in theater and speech from the University of Michigan, he became known in New York City for a serious drama, including Isvin, Shaw, and Chekhov. Not easy. His first noble role was that of Conrad in John Gielgud's production of Much Ado About Nothing in the mid-1960s. Uh, he eventually moved his family to L.A. where he played a recurring role of Donna, Dr. Ernest Gregory in Another World. Now, a lot of actors showed up in Another World from the 60s to the uh, 80s and into the 90s, especially like Ray Liotta, uh, Morgan Freeman. It was considered a good training ground for a lot of young actors. He also played one of the three wise men in the biblical epic, The Greatest Story Ever Told. Now, Leonard is best known for his appearances in Star Trek, particularly in the uh, role of Sarek, the father of Spock. His first Star Trek appearance was in the first season of Star Trek, playing the first Romulan ever seen in the series in the classic episode Balance of Terror. He originated the character of Sarek in the second season episode Journey to Babel and provided, provided his voice in Star Trek the animated series Yesteryear. He later played an ill-fated Klingon captain in Star Trek The Motion Picture, which gave him the distinction of being the first actor to play a Romulan, a Vulcan, in the Klingon in Star Trek. He reprised the role of Sarek in three of the Star Trek feature films, Search for Spock, The Voyage Home, and The Undiscovered Country, and provided the voice of a young Sarek in a brief flashback sequence in Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Additionally, he appeared as the LT Sarek in the third season Star Trek episodes, uh, Sarek in the fifth season episode, Unification Part 1, and one of the most chilling performances of all time. When a Vulcan contracts Alzheimer's, the emotions that he could he could hold hold back all those years uh, are destroyed. What a what a outstanding performance! And Patrick Stewart playing the dual role of Sarek and Picard in his own mind, boys of boys. What a what a one hour of TV that probably one of the best ever. Now he began acting TV series and dramas in 1955. He was the fifth actor to play Nathan Walsh in Search for Tomorrow, which he spent two years. He played Dr. Ernest Gregory in AW in 64 and 65. He also guest starred in several episodes of the original Mission Impossible from 66 to 70, including one with Leonard Nimoy in a two-part episode, and he also appeared in a two-part episode of Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Of course, he was on the Planet of the Apes TV series. He played the prosecutor on Fort Grant in the Clean Eastwood film Hang Him High. He also played the character Aaron Stemple in the TV series Here Comes the Brides, and again, the hostile guerrilla Gorilla Urko in a television series, Planet of the Apes. A very underrated series of performance. Leonard, I thought it was going to be a big hit, but it never planned out. He was also in Little House in the Prairie in the episode During the Spring Part 1, playing Peter Ingalls, the older brother of Charles. He had roles in Gunsmoke several times, including the episode Nowhere, Nowhere to Run. So this was interesting. A lot of the roles he would play, people were comparing to Ricardo Montalban. He also had the lead in the film Noon Sunday, filmed on Guam with co-stars Kay Luke, TV series star John Russell from Lawman, and character actor Stacey Harris. 
Now, in the Radicals, which recounted the beginnings of the Swiss Anabaptist movement in the 1520s, he played a composite historical character. Eberhard Hoffman, a Catholic bishop who serves as a prosecutor in the trial of his former abbot, Michael Sattler. In 93, Leonard and fellow Star Trek actor Walter Koenig turned the production of The Boys in Autumn. Learn Leonard played a late middle-aged Huck Finn who recount, re, uh, re-encounters his childhood friend Tom Sawyer after a lifetime apart. Koenig played Sawyer. Uh, Leonard died of multiple melanoma in New York City in 96 at the age of 72. Of course, he also aided in the appropriation with James Doohan of the Klingon uh, and the Vulcan languages. Uh, you know, uh, phonetics. He was a great voice actor as well. So filmography, greatest story ever told, Baltazar, Hang Him High, Noon Sunday. He played was in Annie Hall as well, Getting Married, uh, Star Trek 1, 3, 4, and 5, and 6, and the Radicals in, in 1990. TV, Search for Tomorrow, Armstrong Circle Theater, AW, Mission Impossible, Star Trek, Twice, the Wild Wild West, Gunsmoke, Here Comes the Brides, Mission Impossible, Hawaii Five O, Very Underrated, The Hell with Babe Ruth, Mission Impossible Again, Hawaii Five O a Second Time, Star Trek, The Animated Series, Mannix, Planet of the Apes, uh, Regular Appearance, Another Hawaii Five O, Little House in the Prairie, Bob Newhart Show, Another Hawaii Five O, uh, The Secret Empire, The Incredible Hulk, Buck Rogers, uh, Other World, Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, Twice, in the heat of the night and amazing space on TLC. Now, the idea about Mark Leonard, why he stands out uh, for me, is because you you see a performance in Balance of Terror and Journey to Babel where he's a better Vulcan than Leonard Nimoy. Every Vulcan since then have seemed to mimic Mark Leonard. You look at Tuvok and a. Uh, 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 in, uh, in in Voyager, you look at the different Vulcans, uh, the, they're like ripping off Leonard. And Leonard said publicly once, he said, I don't understand why people think it was a great performance. I was just doing, you know, Shakespearean style and very stoic. Very handsome man, too. Like I said, he died way, way, way uh, too young. Now, uh, uh, cancer is a virulent disease, of course. But, I mean, um, uh, I always thought that once we got into the bigger Star Trek universe of the 2000s, he was going to do more voices. I know a lot of people really miss him, the Star Trek faithful. Now, I know he did a lot of Star Trek conventions. He's he's a very well appreciated. But if you can, find different interviews with him about playing Sarek and, uh, you know, what it meant to the, the Star Trek franchise. Because we all thought, see, Spock is not a full Vulcan. He's half because his mother was human. But Sarek, uh, you see with his second wife in Star Trek Next Generation, I was shocked. And not to, not to, too many people shock me. I, knew, I didn't know anything out of plot was going on. To see him play Sarek at the recital, and he's crying. And everybody looks over, and it's such a shock. And it's even a shock to Patrick Stewart and the fellow actors to see someone, the legend of Sarek, cry where he never cried before. He never, he never cried when Spock had technically died, you know. And uh, anyway, it's, I really do miss him because when I was a kid, Balance of Terror opened my eyes to science fiction. Uh, yes, he played uh, Sarek uh, very well in the muck time, but Balance of Terror, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Uh, it was like a military, you know, a U-boat battle. And, you know, in another universe, we could have been friends. That breaks my heart because Shatner Shatner couldn't outact anybody on the show when he was in his crazy style. But definitely Mark Leonard outacted Nimoy and everybody else on the show. And like I said, those two episodes and the episode of Star Trek Next Generation, if that's all you're known for, not say he was typecast, but my God, what a what a talent. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're like we're doing with Star Trek podcast, let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share. It's been very hot across North America. I'm wishing the weather's a little bit better. And treat yourself this weekend. Don't go to a certain movie, but go to Barbie, support your local theater by not going to crazy conspiracy.